Hello, my name is Michael, and this is Learn Coding Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to solve Fibonacci numbers using recursion in JavaScript. Uh, if you're not familiar with Fibonacci numbers, it's where the previous two numbers add up to get the current number that we're looking for. So, for example, if we are looking for the third number, it's going to be, well, our first two numbers are going to be 0 and 1. If we are looking for the third number, it's going to be the previous two numbers, which is going to be 1 plus 0 equals 1. If we're looking for the fourth number, it's going to be 1 plus 1 equals 2. If we're looking for the fifth number, it's going to be 1 plus 2 equals 3. And if we're looking for the sixth number, it's going to be three plus, uh, 2 plus 3 equals 5, and so on. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to write the um, function using recursion, and then I'll explain it in more depth later. So don't worry if you can't follow along right now. Uh, later on, I'll kind of break it down for you exactly what's going on. So first, let's define our function. Let's just call it fib, and it's just going to be a function that takes a number. The number that goes into this function is going to be the number that we're looking for. So if we plug in 8, we should get 13. If we plug in 5, we should get 3, and so on. So first with recursion, the first thing we want to do is define our base cases. So our two base cases are going to be 1 and 0. They're the lowest part of our function. So if we put in a number of 1, we want to return 0. If we put in a number of 2, we want to return 1. So let's just write these down. So if the number is equal to 1, we're going to return 0. And if the number is equal to 2, we're going to return 1. And then there's just one more line that we need to write. And this is just so cool. I'll explain it more in more depth a little later. But we're just going to return fib num minus 1 plus fib num minus 2, which you can kind of see how that works. If we put in 3, we want to return um, 1 plus 0. When we put in 4, we want to put in, return the previous two numbers added up. Uh, and then I'll break, th I'll break this down a little bit later, but first of all, let's just test this out. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to console log fib. Let's just put in uh, 6. If we put in 6, we should expect to see 5 in our browser. And there we go, we see a 5 here. Let's try putting in 8, we should see a 13. And we do. And finally, let's just try putting in a big number, like 29. And we should get a pretty big number. And we do. Now, if you don't understand this, I'm going to break this down a little bit more now. Uh, if you see down here, I have the same example. Uh, we're going to do fib5. I'm just going to break it down. Uh, so if we put in fib5, uh, this fib num minus 1 is going to be fib 4, which is the same thing as fib 3 plus fib 2. Uh, it's this uh, fib num minus 1 plus fib num minus 2. And then uh, this fib 3 is going to be equal to fib 2 plus fib 1. So you have this 4 is breaking down into 3 and 2. The 3 is breaking down into 2 and 1, which are our base cases. So the 2 is going to be equal to 1. The 2 is going to be equal to 1 here. And the 1 is going to be equal to 0 here. And the fib num minus 2 at this end here is going to be 1. So in the end, we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3, which is our answer. And we could do the same thing with uh, going higher and higher. There's just going to be more fibs. And you can see that even though this recursion equation is really, really cool, uh, it's not efficient at all. There's much better ways to do it where it's not so inefficient. But this is just really cool to do it this way. Hope you, hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave comments if you have any questions. And be sure to stay tuned for more problems in the future about recursion. See you later for now.